Boating and things going wrong, it can happen to the best of us for many different reasons. Sometimes we'll get caught in poor weather, sometimes we'll have mechanical failure, and other times, well, we'll launch the boat for the season and put it in the slip and pull that boneheaded move of just forgetting the drain plug. We'll see a little bit of all of it in this week's episode of Boating News of the Week. Our first story to make the boating news this week is going to take us over toward New Zealand, where this was the scene just a little over a week ago when the 18-meter Australian-registered Patriot X was en route from Opa to Fiji when all of a sudden one of the crew members fell ill. Fortunately, the vessel was well-prepared and had satellite Wi-Fi, and the crew was able to FaceTime a physician back in Australia, but upon doing so, they learned very quickly they were going to have to perform an emergency surgical procedure on the crew member with no doctor on board. Fortunately, the captain was able to follow the instruction of the surgeon through the FaceTime app and they were able to successfully pull off the procedure. But the crewman was still ill, so they had to call in Northland rescue helicopters to come try and extract the patient off the vessel and bring him back to the mainland. Here we can see the Northland crew as they arrive to the vessel where they're trying to drop a nurse and a rescue swimmer onto the boat. But it's a very complex procedure. As we can tell, there are rough conditions, high winds, and the crew is having to operate at a very low altitude with a very small window to actually drop the crew member onto the back of the vessel. And if all those factors aren't enough, they're actually pushing the limits of the helicopter, meaning they have to do all this in just a few minutes, as the helicopter only really has enough fuel for them to get out to the boat, spend a few minutes getting this done, and then they have to immediately turn around and go back, or they won't have enough fuel to return. Fortunately, the crew is able to successfully pull all this off, and the crewman's able to get back to shore and get the treatment he needs without anybody getting injured. Really a wild scene to watch. Our next story to make the boating news this week is going to bring us back stateside, where this was the scene this past week when the 639-foot Great Lakes freighter Mark W. Barker was heading up the Detroit River when all of a sudden this occurred. According to the incident report, the vessel was traversing up the Detroit River carrying a load of salt bound from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, when all of a sudden near Belle Isle, the vessel wound up losing power and the ability to steer. Shortly after that happened, the vessel took a sharp turn toward the shore. Fortunately, due to the captain's quick thinking, he actually deployed the anchor in an effort to attempt to slow the vessel down before it hit the shore. Fortunately, this worked, causing the vessel only lightly to become grounded in the soft muddy bottom of the Detroit River. Had he not done so, it might have been a lot worse as there was a breakwater right there on the shore. They possibly could have ran all the way up to that, causing more damage. But fortunately, due to the slow speed, the vessel was eventually able to back away under its own power with the assistance of a tug. The vessel did go under its own power to the Belle Isle anchorage where the crew was able to assess the vessel and try and discover if there was any damage. Fortunately, no major damage and no injuries were reported during the incident. Our next story to make the boating news this week is going to take us over to Indonesia, where this was the scene just a little over a week ago when a commercial ferry was approaching a dock in the port of Ternate, when all of a sudden the vessel appears to lose control, it strikes the pier, and actually winds up continuing on and hitting another ferry before coming to a complete stop. Now fortunately in this situation, the 221 foot ferry according to the reports was actually empty at the time of the incident and no injuries were reported, however as can be seen here, the dock did suffer for severe damage and will be temporarily closed while they assess and try and make repairs. Currently, local authorities have launched an investigation to try and determine the cause of the incident. Early reports state the ferry was coming in at a high speed and for some reason never slowed down as it approached the dock, which leads to believe that it's possibly either captain error or possible mechanical failure, but they also claim there are high currents in the area which may have contributed to the incident. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Boating News of the Week. If you ever see anything crazy happening out on your waterways, be sure to hit us up on Facebook or Instagram and let us know and you might see your stories over here. Just like Jake Anderson, Jeff Mertz, and Picasso West did this week. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.